Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to do a wrap up of the foundations that I used this week. What I did was every morning before I, um, before my grandchildren came, I put it on and then I filmed it after it was on and told you what I was using, whether I liked the way it looked so far. Then I would film it at the end of the day before late 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 in the afternoon or before I go to bed and, and I would look to see how it held up I would not uh, touch it up during the daytime just to kind of give an impression I'm going to do um, I think I'm buy a couple of drugstore makeups to do this week I've got I've got like 10 more but I, I'm not gonna do that many I'll, I'll try to pick up the top five to to do this week but uh, so far this past week I've enjoyed the ones that I've done some of them I liked better than others so without further talk from me I will um, go ahead and get started with it it is Monday and my uh, grandma mom slash mom uh, two weeks that I've got going on and uh, today's makeup, I'm going to be doing a different makeup every day. Trying one is from Laura Geller. Um, I got two different colors. The medium was a little bit too dark. The light was a little bit too light. So uh, it's the Baked Balance, uh, Balance and Brawn Color Correcting Foundation. This is the medium, what it looks like. I found out it's very, very pretty. I found out about it from my friend Sue. She said this is what she always wears. At first I put it on with a, um, I bought a little uh, sponge, you know, a little flat sponge to put it on with. And um, she said that she always used a brush. So I ended up using this uh, a Sigma F80 flat, uh, flat Kabuki brush. And so I swirled, you know, I would swirl the two colors together. And uh, it still might be a little bit dark. I might, can, uh, should have used a little bit more of the light, but it is a powder foundation. It is a, uh, I would, on me it was a light coverage um, because I can still see, you know, see imperfections and stuff like that on my skin. But uh, I'm gonna be hot, sweaty, we're gonna be inside, outside, we're going to the movies, uh, you know, doing lots of things with my grandchildren. So uh, we'll see, I'll show you uh, this afternoon after uh, I'll drop them back off, um, you know, this afternoon before I go into work, which will be about three o'clock. So uh, this is the first one, and it is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation. Okay, changed my top during the day. <laughs> got hot on the other one on my neck. But uh, this is eight hours later, and um, this is the Laura Geller makeup. I, it's held up pretty much the same. A little bit of oils breaking through, but uh, not too much. It is a good one. If you don't like a lot of coverage, I have, I'm waiting for the It Cosmetics uh, the one you know their powder makeup to compare it to this one but especially if you just want a light coverage just to blend out your skin this one does a really good job and uh, since it is powder based it doesn't it helps to control any oil and I sit outside uh, I sit outside for a good hour uh, in the shade so you know I got really really hot so uh, I think it held up real well so uh, I would give a thumbs up to the Laura uh, Geller, especially if you just want a real lightweight summer foundation. So thank you to Sue for recommending it. Okay, here is day two, Tuesday's foundation of the day. It is the one that has had some controversy. controversy. It is the All Hours Foundation from YSL. And I am in the color Sand, B40 Sand. Um, let me get a little closer. To me, this is one of the most beautiful foundations. The problem with it has been, why it's been controversial, is because it has the alcohol in it. And um, a lot of people feel like that is bad for your skin. Uh, I know that Brianna Stanko did a video where she just really did not like it at all. And... Um, I have tried it for several days in a row before and it felt like my skin my skin did start burning. I had done a video on that before. 
but I did keep it and I do use it occasionally because I just think it's just such a beautiful foundation. It, um, to me, it's just, it's up there with the, like the Laura Mercier one that I did or uh, that I've been using for so long or the, um, the Lancome one that I think the stick foundation, I think that it's so pretty and um, I'm, I wanted to wear it today because, and I just applied it with my fingers this morning. But I think it's one of those where I think it works well with a sponge or with a brush. It's just a really, really terrific foundation, um, except for that ingredient. But I wanted to see how well it lasted today in, you know, the running around and being outside and the sweat and things like that. So I wanted to, uh, for today, give it a, a good test and see what it does, how it, um, how it looks, what it looks like at the end of the day. So today's is the, and this is the morning, the All Hours Foundation from YSL. Okay, I'll check in late this afternoon. Okay, it is late, late, late afternoon, and so I'm showing you, um, it, it has been a hard day. I've had to, uh, just really, really run around. I've had to be outside a lot. Uh, I had to walk uh, their dog. They got a new little dog, and I had to walk our, our dog and just just do a whole lot of things. Got bit like by a bunch of mosquito, mosquitoes. It was close to 90 here today, humidity high. So I really put this foundation to the test. And you know, my skin looks my skin looks oily, but overall, I think this foundation has held up pretty well. Boy, I... Uh, I can't believe I'm showing you at the end of the day with all, with my makeup rubbed off and stuff, but it, it has held up. I've been, I was pleased. I was tickled with it. It held up really well, so I thought I would show you. So this is the, uh, the end of the day for the All Hours Foundation from YSL, and I like it. Bad ingredient and all, I like it. Okay, the next one is Maybelline Dream Matte Mousses. This is the one that I showed before that I put on with a garbage can underneath it. If you use a brush, which uh, I did this morning, I used the Sephora uh, Pro Flawless Bronzer Brush. And sorry, it's I did use it, so it's got makeup on it. But, and Oliver has chewed on it. I just put it in and it made it a lot easier to spread. Uh, and it made it not flake so much, but a few flakes did fall down. So if you're worried about that, you might want to either stand over the sink, something like that, or, or over the garbage can. But I just went like that and then just, you know, smoothed it out like that. So this is what it looks like up close. I like the way it looks real well. It's almost like it goes on as a cream and turns to a powder. I really, really like it. I will see how it lasts today in all the heat, running around, doing everything that I need to do with the grandkids. So uh, today's foundation is the Dream, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. My color is pure beige. Okay, it's at eight o'clock tonight, and so I've worn this all day long. It is the Maybelline Matte Mousse, Dream Matte Mousse. And uh, I think it held up pretty well. It, uh, it was a hard day. As you can see, I'm really tired. I don't have any other makeup on. You know, my, uh, my eyeshadow's just worn through. No blush, no lipstick. Uh, yeah, it was, I was put through the ringer today. <laughs> I really was. But, uh, you know, it held up pretty well. I think it's because it starts out as a cream, sort of, and sort of gets powdery looking, but, uh, I think it held up as well, almost as well as a powder makeup would. Um, yeah, I, I'm pleased with it. I like it. So uh, this is the Maybelline one, and I give it a thumbs up. Okay, today is Friday's. Uh, yesterday I forgot to, with the It Cosmetics powder, I forgot to uh, film one before I came, um, before I went to bed last night. So I apologize about that. What I will do is I will wear it all day tomorrow and then film it tomorrow night so that uh, you can see what it looks like at the end of the day. Today I have on Bobbi Brown Stick Mount Foundation and it's called uh, the Foundation Stick. <laughs> so 
So, uh, and the color that I have is uh, warm beige. The color is a really good match for me. I noticed when I put it on, it just, uh, it hardly needed blending because it just matched my skin so well. It was an, it's an unusual stick foundation, I think, because most of them are kind of uh, full coverage. I did not find this to be full coverage. I had to really add more and add more to get even to a medium coverage, which is what I like. So, um, it's, it was harder to blend than other stick foundations. You would put it on and you would have to, um, I tried it with my fingers and I could do it with my fingers. It does a little bit better. Well, it does better with a beauty blender. Uh, it sheared it out even too much with a, um, with a brush, but the Beauty Blender blended real well. In a pinch, you could use your fingers, but you're gonna have to kind of do some rubbing on it to get it to spread out. You put it on and it just wants to stay there. It doesn't want to blend out. I think it's sort of exa exaggerating my pores. Now, it sounds like I don't like it, but I actually think it's rather, rather nice. If you fiddle with it and get the look that you want, maybe it's just because it matches my skin so well that it, uh, you know, it just seems to blend into my skin so much. Maybe, you know, that's what I want. But I did notice my pores sort of looked larger, but it still gave a nice finish. It was, it's a, it's a very baffling foundation. Uh, I don't know that I would buy it again, but I will definitely use it up and maybe even in conjunction with another foundation. I'm going to, I'm curious to see how it wears all day today. Uh, but I don't know, I might buy it again. It's a very conflicting foundation for me. Uh, I feel like I need to probably work with it a little bit more, but um, let me see what it looks like at the end of the day before I give my final opinion, because if it just breaks down completely, then, you know, it's no use to me. So <laughs> anyway, I'll be back at the end of the day. Hopefully today I will remember. As you can see, all the rest of my makeup has come off. I took a good look at this foundation and it held up better than I thought it would. I don't think it looks too bad. It doesn't feel greasy. It feels like it's still on. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Okay, I'm doing the foundation that I did the other day, the IT Celebration Foundation Illumination, because I forgot to come back on that day. Uh, my thoughts on this foundation are I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. I feel like it makes my pores look big. I feel like it uh, accentuates slime and wrinkles. It makes my skin look oily. Um, I'm just not happy with it. One day I was going to review the liquid, the CC plus, uh, you know, the S with the SPF, the, the liquid that so many people like. I put it on and I just hated it. I mean, I just really did. It felt really, really heavy on my skin. It felt like my skin was sagging and being drugged down. It just felt like I had so many wrinkles and lines and the face, my skin was just kind of hanging on my, my bones. It was just terrible looking. Uh, I, mean, I took it off. I, I couldn't even wear it for the day. That's how bad it was on me. Um, and I know a lot of people like it, so I wanted to review it, but I just didn't want to go around with it on that all day long. So I am going to keep on this uh, the powder foundation all day today. So I will come back on this evening. Hopefully I'll remember this time. I didn't last time, but I will come back on this evening and uh, let you see how it wears. But it sure would have to improve a lot for me to like it because I just don't. I like, I think I might like stick foundations better. I don't like this one. So I'll be back later and see how it looks. Okay, here is the end of the day with the It Cosmetics. Celebration Foundation Illumination. Uh, it lasted. I do have to give it that. It lasted real well. And my pores do look a little smaller. I feel like it maybe um, turned a little bit darker on me. A little bit. But um, I'm wondering if I should have not gotten the illumination. I may... I may gift this to someone. I know several people that like to use it. I may gift this to someone and then try the regular, uh, the non-illumination. I, I just don't know. I'm not crazy about it. So therefore it makes me not want to try the other one either. Um, but everybody just seems to love these foundations so much. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again. And I'll talk to you tomorrow when I wrap all this up.
Thank you so much for watching this. I am going downstairs to do another paleo meal. This one is uh, spaghetti with meat sauce, but instead of, well, I'm doing regular spaghetti, but I'm also making the zoodles, the zucchini noodles. And uh, my daughter has tried the recipe with the zoodles. Uh, well, the sauce I've already made, it is fantastic. It's got pork chops in it. The zoodles, my daughter said that those are really, really good if you bake them. Uh, instead of do, you know bake them in olive oil and salt and pepper that she said that those turn out really good and put the sauce on it but I'm also gonna have some regular pasta too in case people don't like the zoodles so we shall see but uh, I'll, I'll let y'all know how that turns out next week but another week of keeping the kids and that will be it I can get back to hopefully uh, about twice a week uploading videos again uh, thanks for bearing with me and I get to the comments when I can but like I said I, I babysit all day and then I go to the office after that so sometimes it's like 6 30 or 7 before I get home and uh, and I just want to just relax <laughs> instead of instead of fooling with YouTube but thank you so much for watching this I hope you enjoyed it and I will do it again this coming week and I'll buy some some more foundations to see what I think of them and everyone have a wonderful week I will see you next week bye bye